This is sports. 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 With a capital F. This is sports with a capital F. This is sports. This is sports with a capital F. Not the most professional operation. It's not. I'll but give you that. You know what it is? It's the only operation in town. It is the sports with a capital F podcast, and I'm Graham. And this week, my guest is my very own lovely patient sister, Jesse yes. Walden. <laughs> How are you tonight? Hey, I'm pretty good, actually. Thanks yeah. for asking. No, and I think uh, the fact that we already recorded a whole podcast that I didn't record really just Trust warmed me, us up for really this it was really good, one. everybody. Yeah. So don't judge us on this one. Hypothetically, <laughs> imagine one that was better than this. Hey, okay. I've got, um, as I said before, but I guess it bears repeating, uh, I made a bulleted list of topics to talk about. Mm-hmm. The Kendall Graveman double play, which we talked about already, and I just want to urge your listeners to Google it. It will come up very easily. We don't need to even talk about it, because I can't describe it, and Graham thinks he can describe it. But just watch it. Anyway, I'm just going to cross that bullet off, because we basically used it. So uh, the thing I wanted to talk about that was baseball-related, again, listeners google kendall graveman double play you don't need to know anything else yes it was uh, a, it was a it was a uh unassisted double play by a pitcher that happened at great. third base and it is totally worth watching it's real fun and it takes about three seconds yeah. um so everybody go so look at that and we'll spare go the watch shitty, that we don't need to talk we'll about spare that the again shitty color commentary that we thankfully yeah neither didn't one record. of us could do it thankfully we didn't record it now thank me that's why rehearsal is good thank me <laughs> uh, what's that a reference to dinosaurs, dinosaurs. yes thank you Come on now. <laughs> um so the thing i wanted to talk about which is going to put a date of birth on you how about that okay is the story of the tom pagnazi dollar the story of the tom pagnazi dollar you know the story. I would like you to tell it for your readers and listeners in case they don't know your story of how cute you were when you were a little guy and also what a little shit you were. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think I could spin this yarn. And you know what? I have a Tom Pagnazzi card around here somewhere. Oh, I, my God. I saw That's it just fantastic. the other you day. Should... Oh, you know what? Here's an opportunity. Put a picture of Tom Pagnazzi up right now. Wait for it. Right Ding. now. All right, there. Okay, so when I was but a lad, I don't know, how old do you think I was? Maybe five? I was going to ask you. I thought maybe like six-ish. I feel like, like I was still in kindergarten. Yeah, and I, but I was young. Oh, and though, you were I young. Yeah, right, I, I was old. <laughs> high, yeah, I graduated from high school when I was 17 because I had the summer birthday. Yeah, so, and I graduated when I was like nearly 23. Yeah, so I was but a lad. I, it's possible I hadn't been not four for very long. But anyway, so... You were a little guy. Yeah, so the parents, against my will, took us to a Cardinals convention. There yeah, the in, Cardinals Road Show at the yeah. Holiday Inn Executive Center. Yeah, in Columbia, Missouri. And there was, yeah. there was a panel of Cardinals fans. If you actually want to date it exactly, you could, because you could look and see what season it was the cardinals adopted the dark blue kind of braves colored road hats remember that oh my god no i'm a lady i don't remember that kind of stupid yeah stuff. but i do i but suddenly I... felt like i was on like sports talk radio this is sports shouting but yeah so the, the uh no the, no i the don't know when they put that stupid hat change the god cardinals the cardinals i remember it because there were people asking questions about that and i as a very young lad had already been exposed to the film bull durham which <laughs> yeah way too early yeah, you got obviously. exposed to every movie way too early yeah. as a rule a second gra second grade me and dad was uh terminator too but that's <laughs> I can tell you, I the became, two stands for second graders, uh, right? Yeah, I became a, uh, I became a Guns N' Roses fan at that moment. Oh my god! But gosh. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really strange story. I love it. Okay, but so anyway, so as a young lad, yeah. we go to this Cardinals <laughs> convention, and basically, it's just a big room of people in you know a Holiday Inn conference room. It was it's large. A ballroom. Yeah, it was a large thing. There was a stage up front with a white. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But I'll, the thing I do remember is they were talking about the hat color changes. And I went up to the microphone and asked the question, 
is it true that the pitcher is the dumbest guy on the team and the catcher is the smartest? And let me tell you something, the place went fucking crazy. He brought the house down for real. Uh, it did. The whole place went bonkers. <laughs> it was a very early example of disruption for laughter for me. And right, I, that's why I wanted to bring it up because I was, thought in my mind, like as that far as out effect, as a landmark. Yeah, as far as its effect on my life, it might as well have been the first time I smoked crack, or exactly like the first time I did, or heroin. like when you chopped down your father's cherry tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you were like, I cannot tell a lie. I really enjoyed because my wooden teeth clack together. Yeah, well, and I just I couldn't tell a lie that I enjoyed that reaction. <laughs> you also, <laughs> for the record, couldn't tell a lie, although you tried a lot of times. I still do, Jesse. But so anyway, I, okay. The, uh, story, bro. Anyway, okay. But so look, so they call me up. So Tom Pagnazzi is one of the people up there. I wish I could remember the pitchers' names. I'm sure if you would have told me ahead of time to tell the story, I could remember them. I know, but it's but better people, this way. Again, this is what Google's for. Who yeah, cares? Come it's on. It's better this way. But so anyway, so they call me on stage. I still remember. I was a little guy. They call me on stage. I go up there. A couple of the pitchers like did like fake like noogies on me. Like you yeah, know, for they photo. pretended to strangulate you. Yeah, for fun opportunities. And they pulled up a chair, and I sat right next to Tom Pagnazzi, and he pulled like, a knot didn't out. Didn't of... even sit on his lap. No, they pulled up a chair for me. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. No, and Tom Pag, because I remember, because Tom Pagnazzi pulled a knot out of his pocket that had choked a donkey. Like, I haven't seen, and <laughs> I was four years old, and I saw the most cash I've ever seen in my face in a single knot ever again. Oh, that's really Regar funny. See, that's a good facet. Regardless of all know. the insane people I've hung out with, I've seen more cash than that before. But in one single knot, I remember that just seemed like the most impressive thing I'd ever seen in my life. And Tom Pagnazzi handed me a single dollar bill. Anyway, I and sat you up had there. it in like a funny little crappy photo frame for years and years. I did, and but it, it did. It's I had that dollar. It yeah. was really funny, and he he. You sat up there, and you had a jolly old time. And even I, who at the time really mostly wanted to murder you every day, had to grudgingly admit it was a good move. Yeah, it was. You classic. know, I was kind of like, "Well played, you little shit." Yeah, no, I don't know. Went on, <laughs> went on to a long string of things of that nature, and now you're on my <laughs> podcast. Yeah, well played, you little shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did pretty good there. I'm segueing like that guy from MythBusters. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the wild turkeys. Uh, those of you, my many throngs of social media followers, will know that I have been dealing with a plague of wild turkeys in my personal life. They follow me around at work and at home, and they strut. And they make a terrifying, loud gobble sound. Jive turkeys. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's true. Quite. There's Based no on question. Their I'm sorry I didn't say that earlier. There's yeah. a, They are undoubtedly jive. Like, okay. they're the jivest of turkeys. I was just making sure. sure that we were identifying turkeys correctly. Very clearly jive. Yeah. Wild jive strutting turkeys. Now, <clears throat> this is all fine. The only, the real reason I wanted to bring this up is because I have this um, neighbor. My, my, I live in a neighborhood. I have a beautiful neighborhood, which is mostly little bitty houses owned by some old folks. And all of my immediate neighbors are old folks. And, and my next door neighbor and is turkeys. like kind of a grumpy old man. <laughs> and the other day I was standing in my living room. On a scale, now, but on a scale of one to ten, this grumpy old man, how much does he look like uh, Walter Matthau? None. He looks like if Walter Matthau was a Vietnam veteran. So he looks like Jack Lemon. Okay, moving forward. <laughs> he was in his jammy pants and t-shirt while the giant turkeys were walking through my front yard, which is not a big front yard. They were right up by my house. Right. And this goofy old guy is tossing bread to the turkeys. But I want to point out that he was tossing bread to the turkeys into my lawn, not on his lawn or the sidewalk. He was flinging bread over the hedge into my yard so the turkeys would hang out there so he could look at them and eat bread while I was trapped in my house by evil turkeys. Nice. So how's this turkey thing resolved itself? Are the turkeys still around? Well, so I was worried, in fact, that the turkeys had been gone. And the reason I thought that they might be gone is because there was like a herd of them standing in the front yard across the street from my house. And like a city pickup truck kind of pulled up on the sidewalk next to them. 
And it kind of looked like, hey, maybe the animal control people are going to do something about the plague of turkeys. Did they just drive off? Cause yeah, crazy. they sure did. Yeah, and of then... course, they're city employees. If I worked for the city and I was going to like cut someone's water off or like fix a main or something, and I pulled up and there was a herd of turkeys, I'd have been like, yeah, not today, turkeys. Yeah, well, and so here's another thing is the yard where the turkeys were hanging out happens to be like very overgrown. And I wondered if, in fact, the city person had been pulling up to look at the yard. And by the way, there's a herd of turkeys in it, which is a good reason not to have an overgrown yard. Yeah, no, turkeys will hide in there. Herds of turkeys. Turkeys will hide in there. It's funny, I <laughs> I didn't cut my grass today. Now I'm concerned that maybe tomorrow I'll be overrun. Well, we'll look turkeys. out for turkeys. So you know we have that pit barrel cooker thing, which is just like a giant barrel you hang meat in and yeah. cook. Yep. I've been thinking, like, maybe I could lure one of the turkeys into it and just, like, slam the lid shut on it, you know? <laughs> like a lobster. Like, like cartoon style? Yeah. <laughs> no, like how you cook a lobster. You could put you know, signs you just kind of it in there and you slam could, the lid shut. You could put signs up, like, turkey sauna. <laughs> yeah, oh, my gosh, yes, right. <laughs> like, like uh, Wile E. Yeah. Coyote style? A, you, Turkish bath. A little bowl of Turkish, weird turkey Turkish feed. Bath, you know, yeah, oh, sorry. Turkish bath. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. That's not funny. That was pretty good. That was solid. <laughs> okay, you're right. It was pretty good. <laughs> anyway, right. I, 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 the thing is I'm too afraid of them to get close. But, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm crossing turkeys off the list. Should we close out somehow? Uh, How should we close out? Uh, uh, um, this is Jesse saying... My butt itches. What? My, now? My butt itches. This is sports with a capital F. This is sports. F. 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 This is a capital F.